thank you for joining us at this very special announcement, which culminates actually months of hard work and dedication to identifying the most outstanding candidate to lead the College of Arts and Sciences forward at a critical time in the history of Syracuse University and higher education in general. It gives me great pleasure to announce that after a rigorous and highly competitive search, Dr. Karin Rulant has been selected to serve as Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. It's a great day for the College of Arts and Sciences and for Syracuse University. It, it's not a mystery uh, what Syracuse University and the College of Arts and Science needs more than anything in the year going forward. And that's, of course, uh, that we want to enhance the student experience and we want to enhance our research and service. Uh, those things all require for the university to do those things, for the College of Arts and Sciences to be unrivaled. Uh, the college is the heart and soul of liberal arts, the liberal arts experience at Syracuse. It's the home of the largest number of our undergraduate students, the source of the majority of undergraduate instruction for students here and in many of the colleges. Dr. Ruland stood out from among the many applicants for the Arts and Sciences Deanship as someone whose experiences and competencies fit the needs of the college at this critical juncture. She has an outstanding record of scholarship, a track record of achievement in administration, a well-earned reputation for fostering collaboration, and an ability to reach well-defined goals. I offer Karen our warmest congratulations. It has been an honor serving as the interim dean of the College of Arts and Sciences for the last seven months. And I'm thrilled and grateful for the opportunity to continue leading the college as a dean, especially at this critical juncture in the college's history. The College of Arts and Sciences is a truly special place, and it plays a unique role at Syracuse University. It is the one thing that unites all of our undergraduates. And it's not just a liberal arts college, it is the intellectual heart and soul of Syracuse University. Now, I know most of you think for me to, as a scientist. And by day, that's exactly what I am. And that's exactly what I have been. But what I'm perhaps most excited about is the opportunity to bridge the gap between the humanities, the natural and the life sciences, mathematics and the social science. To be a truly exceptional college of arts and sciences, we must raise the profile and build programs within and across all disciplines, not just in the college, but across the entire campus. <laughs>